Yeah? If the price is right, make me an offer. Another satisfied customer. Sure. I can fix most anything. Let me see what you've got. What's happening? It's good to see you alive and well, sir. It's good to see you alive and well, sir. Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. No. Thank you. Um, huh? Yeah, what is it? I sure am, Sonny. What have you got for me? Well, all right. Let me count out your caps. Well, back to work.
Hello. Hey there. Hey. You're easily amused, eh? I do the repairs around I here. I told so you it would work, Madison. Needs fixing, but now I can prove it. James, you're back. And with good news. I was right about Braun and the Gek. If we can find one, we can adapt it to work with the purifiers. I'd like to believe you, James. I really would. This is all just so... so sudden. Madison, I'm telling you, this is real. I talked to Braun himself. He confirmed it. Don't you see? This is what we've been waiting for. I... I don't know, James. So many years have passed. Is it really still worth trying? How could it not be worth improving the lives of everyone in the Wasteland? What could be a more worthy endeavor? You haven't lost any of your passion, have you, James? It's as important to me as ever, Madison. I know it's important to you, too. Let's finish it together. James, I... We don't have a Gek. I can get a small team together, but we'll need proof that it works before people believe us. I know. I was thinking about that. The lab at the facility had some old pre-war computers that we scavenged. One of them might be useful. From the last reports, there's no power at the facility. Even if one of those computers had a database, we couldn't access it. That's why we're going to head over there right now and get things up and running as best we can. You know, if it were anyone else asking me to do this, I'd have them run right out of Rivet City. And you know I wouldn't be here if I didn't think this would really work. It's time, Madison. Damn you, James. When this is all over, you owe me a drink. I'll get the team together. Thank you, Madison. It's good to be working with you again. Did you need something? Is everything all right? We need to get back to Project Purity. The computer there is our best chance to locate a Gek. That's my boy. It'll be good to work side by side with you, son. <sighs> so noisy last night. Hello. I can hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix has happened or help you sleep. Is everything all right? Hey! Got it. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. What you looking for? A pleasure doing business with you. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. Yes, that's locked. And yes. Some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said the gunfire went off. We can't accomplish anything until we can get inside, but none of us are particularly capable fighters. I hate to ask you to put yourself in harm's way, but you seem to have learned to handle yourself. I need you to go in and make sure it's safe for Dr. Lee and her crew. Be careful. Yes?
Is everything all right? Are you all right? Is it safe in there? I'm proud of you. Now let's get in there. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loved so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's tidal basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt. And then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. Be careful, my son. Here we are, where it all began. You remember your mother's favorite passage? Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Don't you see? This is what it all means. The water, the purifier. This is the water of life. Your mother's dream. No point in wasting time. Let's get to work. There's much to be done. The project was abandoned shortly after you were born. Things have deteriorated here since then, and there's been some flooding. I need you to get to the flood control pumps and activate them so we can clear out the water and reach the mainframe. The automatic doors sealed when the flooding occurred so you'll have to use the access tunnels to reach the pumps. I've been hearing good things about you. Is it true? Did you really disarm the bomb and Megaton? I'm very proud of you, even though you put yourself in harm's way. Just please be careful out there. This is a dangerous world, far more dangerous than anyone in that vault knows. Right, the flooding shorted out some of the fuse boxes downstairs including one that controls some of the automatic doors. Here, take these fuses. The box is back down in the sub-basement near the eastern end of the level. Once the fuses are replaced, you'll be able to get to the mainframe. Be careful, my son. Ding.
fuse is in place, you should be able to access the mainframe. No need to come back to the control room. Use the intercom so I can tell you where to go next. There are a few minor repairs still to be made up here in the control room. Why don't you come back here and give me a hand? Actually, wait. There's one other thing I need you to do. Jana says there's a blockage in one of the intake pipes. It's on your way back. Head back up to the museum level and give me a call on the intercom when you get there. I'll see you when you get back. This facility is now under United States government control. The person in charge is to step forward immediately and turn over all materials related to this project. It's quite impossible. This is a private project. The Enclave has no authority here. I'm going to have to ask you to leave at once. Am I to assume, sir, that you are in charge? Yes, I'm responsible for this project. Then I repeat, sir, that you are hereby instructed to immediately hand over all materials related to the purifier. I'm sorry, but that's... Furthermore, you are to assist Enclave scientists in assuming control of the administration and operation of this facility at once. Colonel, is it Colonel? I'm sorry, but the facility is not operational. It never has been. I'm afraid you're wasting your time here. Sir, this is the last time I am going to repeat myself. Stand down at once, and turn over control of this facility. Colonel, 
I assure you that this facility will not function. We have never been able to successfully replicate test results. I suggest you comply immediately, sir, in order to prevent any more incidents. Are we clear? Yes, Colonel. Do whatever you want. There's no need for more violence. Then you will immediately hand over all materials related to this project and aid us in making it operational at once. Very well. I need a few moments to bring the system off. What is he doing in there? I grow tired of waiting. It'll only be a few more moments. Run. Run! What is he doing in there? James. He's gone. We have to get out of here. They'll be coming for us next. We've got to evacuate now! James, your father caused an overload. He sacrificed himself to keep the Enclave from getting the purifier, and to buy us some time to escape. There'll be more of them coming. We need to get out of here before they find us, or else your father died in vain. There's nothing anyone can do for him now. The radiation levels in there are lethal. You'd die the same way he did. We need to get out of here now. We used an old abandoned tunnel as an escape route once before, many years ago. Everyone should know how to find it. We need to get there right now. Let's go. We need to escape while well, don't wander off. We're going to need you. You heard me. We need you right now. You're the only one here with any amount of combat experience. We've got the Enclave behind us and who knows what ahead of us. If we're going to make it through here, we need your help. We need to stick together, but we need to move quickly. We'll follow behind you, all right? Let's get moving. Are you sure? I don't want to stay in one place for too long. Is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful. Whoa, now. Be careful with that thing. What is it? Are you sure? I Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have
We can't go any further. We need to stop. Garza has a heart condition. He needs medicine or he may not make it. I'm not moving until he gets the medicine he needs. I don't have sufficient medical supplies with me, or else this wouldn't be a problem. If you have any stim packs, I would ask that you hand them over. Yes, this looks to be enough. He'll need medical attention once we've reached the Citadel, but this will get him there. Thank you. Give me a moment, and we can continue. Garza, here. This will help you to feel better. Once we reach the Citadel, you'll be fine. Thank you, Dr. Lee. I'm feeling better already. Let us continue, and not waste more time here. All right, if you're up to it, we'll continue. We can't stop now. We need to keep going. What is it? We'll be right behind you. Be careful.
This ain't a tourist trap. You civilians get topside immediately. 